appears she has her grandfather's temper, but she cannot refuse you. I'm afraid she has. She will not change a single lady. Nonsense, man. Go back and offer her someone charming like uh, Emily Anglesey. I'm sure her little majesty would exchange her for that cat, Emma Fulton. I cannot form a ministry on the basis of Lady Anglesey's charms. No stomach for the fight, eh? You should learn to win her over like Melbourne does. I'm afraid I do not have Lord Melbourne's ease of manner. She would be yours if you would just flirt with her a little. Forgive me. I had not realised that flirting was a prerequisite for being Prime Minister. Can this really be true? The Tory party, the party of Burke and Pitt, have been defeated by the caprice of an 18-year-old girl. I cannot form a government without the support of the Sovereign. The Queen refuses to make any changes to her household and therefore I cannot proceed. Behaviour is barely rational to make such a to-do over her ladies. Mind you, my father behaved in this way at the beginning of his affliction. If this persists, changes will be inevitable. You know what that child has done! No one tells me anything. Your daughter has told Peel that she will not get rid of any of those wig harpies that surround her. And now Peel won't form a government unless she does. No one can tell Victoria what to do. She's trying to get Melbourne back, of course. And if she succeeds, we will not be able to protect her with the Regency. I think I should be the one to resign now. Harriet plays the piano much better than me, and she has such an eye for fashion. No one is going to resign, Emma. You're my ladies and my friends. But, ma'am, you will have to make some adjustments. It is the custom when the administration changes. Otherwise, Sir Robert will feel he does not have your support. And then he cannot form a government. Precisely. 